hello guys this is jude and in this video i'm going to do an overview of first cody i will show you how you can buy send sell receive store bitcoin and other currencies on first cody so if you're ready let's dive right in so first cody is an app it doesn't have a web platform it allows you to send and receive sell or buy the following currencies Ethereum, Bitcoin, GUSD, Naira, that is Nigerian Naira, and FRN, which is the Ethereum Network Token. Now, the good thing about Fexory is that you can send, apart from sending cryptocurrencies, you can also send Naira to other Fexory app users. If you are a merchant, you can easily use Fexory to receive, to accept payments in your store, as well as pay for things using cryptocurrencies. So let us look, take a quick overview of the platform you can see that right now i am the in the wallet section if i want to send money i can go and click on the particular currency um, i want to send to perform a particular transaction or i can use the send money or scan to pay that is i want, I want to scan a, pan, a, a a barcode to make payments i will show you how to do that before the end of this video uh, of course when you when you download your first crazy app, you have to verify um, your email address, your your phone number, and the rest of it. So this is all what is on the first query um, homepage. If I go this way, I can see some other services like invest in stability. In other words, if you um, GUSD is a cryptocurrency based on the US dollar, so you can actually hedge your Naira or hedge your Bitcoin, whichever, using the GUSD. So it's stable to the US dollar. If I scroll more, I can deposit or buy Bitcoin. Now, if you go to this section, let me click it. Now, this section. Now, you can, um, the first query also have a debit card. They partnered with Stambic card, Stambic bank. So you can have a first query app where you can spend your Bitcoin or crypto or, any, or, or the cryptocurrencies supported just such as the Ethereum and USD directly from the card. So if I have B, um, if I have Bitcoin in my first credit app and I link that Bitcoin to my card, I can go to an ATM and withdraw money. In Naira. So it's 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 really a cool feature. So let's look at how we can deposit money into the first credit app. I can click on Bitcoin then yeah i can scan this code or copy this code and send bit and, and send bitcoin to it or i can buy bitcoin by clicking here but before i buy bitcoin uh, you can see i have the balance in my first code naira wallet is 500 so i can buy bitcoin using this 500 there but i want to deposit more money so let me go back so i want to deposit 5000 naira in the Naira wallet, then I'll use it to buy Bitcoin. So to do that, I can um, do that using bank, my Kodi bank account, or I can do bank deposits or USSD deposits. Let's go to bank deposits. So right here, we can see the instruction here. All I need to do is to send money to this account, making sure that I enter this description in the i enter the description in the in the description in my one i'm doing the transfer that is here where they wrote eight pricky dear joke merrily or the number written here so i'm going to go ahead and make a transfer to this bank account here and now you can you can use either of them either the one um, the eight pricky dear joke merrily or the number all right make sure you use the one in your app when you are making this deposit so let me use my other phone and make this de this deposit and i'll come back to complete this video so i've made a deposit of five thousand error so let me go ahead and submit the proof so five thousand error made um, originating bank is I sent it from GT Bank. Um, attach 
proof. So I'm going to take a picture. Um, if I have the picture on this phone, I would like to take a picture. Let me take a picture, then I come back to so I can see it here. So I have taken the picture. It should appear. It should appear here. Yeah. So I can now submit it. Not attached. Let me try again. Okay, it was attached actually. I wasn't patient enough. So crap. Um, let me just wait, give it a few minutes or oh, a few seconds actually. So I touched and I click save. So all I have to do now is, is to wait for the, for the transaction to reflect. You can see here it says processing. So I just have to wait for the transaction to be processed so if we, if we go to naira, naira wallet you can see that um it says here at the top right corner pending five thousand error so once that, once that is confirmed i will do the rest of the video so yeah it took about two hours but my Deposit has been confirmed. So you can see in the Naira section, I have 5,500 Naira. Now, let me go ahead and buy Bitcoin with it. So I click on the Bitcoin wallet. Then I click on buy. Then if I want, if I want to buy, I can enter the amount of Bitcoin I want to buy here. Or I can just click on the percentages here if I want to buy with all my money i just click on 100 percent now it's showing me the amount in bitcoin that i'm going to get and it's showing me the equivalent what the bitcoin price currently is which is three million three fifteen that is their rates now this rate is about the same thing that is on on luna so i think it's quite good so to Confirm transaction. You can see my fee is just on seven naira. To confirm transaction, I click on buy. So, so you can see, and I have Bitcoin. If I go back to the wallet section, you can see that my naira wallet is not empty. Why my Bitcoin wallet has zero point zero zero one six three six. What I can do is to buy more or sell this for bitcoin or withdraw it in other words send the bitcoin now to an external address but could it, first could he, the minimum withdrawal you can make is 0.005 and what i have here is 0.0016 thus i cannot send this bitcoin to an external address so what i can do is i can try to sell it again and and receive um i can start to sell it again and withdraw it to my bank account but let me show you how you can withdraw it to say to send it a, a, a an external bitcoin with address in case you want to do that so when i click on withdraw i can see my available balance is 0 0.001636 and this is where i enter the amount of bitcoin i want to withdraw so if i go ahead and type the figure 
you see the the fee up here and my available balance changes which means i can only withdraw 0 0.001136 and here is where i enter the address i can i can either enter address address or click here to scan it all right but like i said the minimum withdrawable balance in first code is 0 0.005 ptc so i cannot do this so that is basically how you use first code. remember you can connect you can apply for the first code debit card then connect your bitcoin to your card and withdraw it or use for, or use for payment in any pos or atm so that brings us to the end of this video if you have not subscribed please click the subscription button we release awesome videos like this every other week all right bye